I think it's a perfect essential. I love the way he solves the, the problem of the story when you're trying to figure out how are they gonna, how are they gonna all end up happily ever after? And so he just invents twins. <laughs> all of a sudden to pop up, takes care of everything. And they both happen to have them. Yes, identical twins. And, yes. uh, and once again, then they say they lived happily ever after. <laughs> or did they? Uh -huh. And I would just be like screaming in my seat if I saw a movie say that today. I think it's so clever. It's so fun too when you see a filmmaker like Preston Sturgis use, you know, the comedy mechanisms of, you know, calling someone the weenie king, which you just know is going to bring joy right. to people's lives, or, you know, uh, the cutaways of the dogs on the train. Uh -huh. I, there was something like, I thought John Hughes always did those brilliant, like, audio and sort of cutaway comedy moments where he never lost sight of the film, but he never also lost sight of doing little jokes here and there right. along the way. That you may catch or you may not. Yeah. You know. It's like the they Simpsons. They didn't hit you over the head with it. Do it with their little sight gags right. always. And I think that's what makes a person so happy when they're watching something. Mm -hmm. It's like, thank you. You're giving me these little cherries of joy and comedy and humor. And I'm happy and I'm watching this responsible storytelling, but you're never forgetting that you just want to tickle me mm -hmm. here and there mm -hmm. and I love when a director does that I'm always thanking them. yeah we're talking about versatility before the movie about Mary Astor mm -hmm. being so versatile uh, Claudette Colbert really had this great range too yeah. I think she was never better than in light comedy like this and the energy that she had and all that and the sense of fun that she always seemed to have but you know she did things like since you went away you know, very dramatic story about World War II. She was in Three Came Home about being in a prison camp during the Second World War. She did a lot of dramas, Imitation of Life, the uh -huh. original version of that. I just think it is so great to see these, the range, you know, which, which is one of the things I love about TCM, for me personally, is the fact that you can see the range of an actor. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's move on, see what's coming up. Stay tuned to see what we have coming up next week on The Essentials. Auntie Mae, 1958. The casting of Rosalind Russell in this part is spot on. I just want to keep this character alive and around. <laughs> Morton Costa had a very short career as a director, but he was so great directing this movie. This film makes you happy, but it's full of life lessons. From 1958, Auntie Mae. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, War is Hell and Heartbreak for Claudette Colbert and Tomorrow is Forever. Then Claudette can't outrun Don Amici's taxi cab in Midnight. And Shelby Leverington seeks century-old revenge throughout Death by Invitation. Hi, this is the TCM Classic Movie News.